Windsurf has recently released a big update and there are some remarkable changes in this new update. If you don't know what is Windsurf, Windsurf is an AI code editor just like Cursor and you can download Windsurf from this website codium.com. The first major update is web and document search. So now Cascade, which is actually Windsurf's AI coding agent, can now search the web. There are a couple of ways to use that. So you can use automatically simply ask a query that needs a live internet search and Cascade will trigger web search automatically. And then another way is actually you can simply just input a URL. So this is helpful if you are actually going to integrate some sort of like third party integration inside Windsurf. So you can simply just provide URL of that particular third party dependency or library or you can simply just provide a documentation directly a url and then windsurf scrape that entire url and will actually understand that and then you can ask questions or you can like integrate that in a better way because now windsurf understand then all of that knowledge that is provided in that particular url and if you prefer to explicitly ask cascade to search the web you can use this at web functionality so you can simply just come to your cascade this is windsurf that i installed on my computer and then you can simply we just write at and then write web and then now you can just add a like a, a web url so similarly just i can add my our website here this is our web url and i'll just enter that and then let's see if it scrapes that entire data from website or not so now it has kind of like got all of the pages got my company name got different services here so it is now creating an outline so this is like this this is good this is remarkable because most of the times whenever we actually, whenever we actually want to add documentation of any certain third party integration so we we usually just add those documents inside cursor or windsurf we're using windsurf so we add that inside settings but right now we can actually directly add those documentation here and it will scrape that entire website and then understand and organize that data in a proper way so this is really, really like a revolutionary feature. Cascade can search through some popular documentation sites, including Windsurf's own help documentation. So you, to use this functionality, you can simply just write at docs and then it will actually allow you to go through the documentation, Windsurf help documentation or any other documentation that you have ha added inside Windsurf. The most fascinating update for me is actually this Cascade auto generated memory. So Cascade can now automatically generate memories to retain context between conversations. This is really, really important for me because whenever I'm actually working on two different features in same project in two separate conversations. So Wind, windsurf can actually now understand context between two like conversations you can prompt cascade to create a memory at any time if you want it to remember key context so let's suppose if you are working on something and then you want that cascade like which is like windsurf's ai agent you want it to like remember it in future so you can just like ask it to save that memory and then cascade will create that memory and then you can actually later on recall that and you can just like resume wherever you left let's try to ask cascade to create a memory of this conversation please create a memory of this conversation i will summarize the key points from our conversation as a memory memory we searched uk based metaverse company so i, I gave it two urls one was metaversify.co.uk and another one was met the metaverse company.uk so both of these are actually saved in 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 cascade now and we can actually recall it whenever we want and this is like an amazing amazing functionality really because for so many times whenever i'm developing a project there is no, I mean, especially in cursor, there is no functionality like this in cursor. So that's why I'm a bit more biased towards Windsurf now, because most of the times whenever I'm working on cursor, so I just like, it just loses that context. And then I have to like somehow recall that if I'm not able to recall that, so then I have to like explain that context once again. So that's how it works in, in cursor. But in here it has no like stored that inside the memory. So this, this is really amazing. So memories can also be deleted in memories panel. Memories do not cost any flow action credits to generate. This is really amazing. Then there are some other improvements and some other bug fixes inside Windsurf but these major changings that that they have done these are like just like amazing amazing changings by the way to access memories panel all you need to do you need to simply just click on these top three icons inside your conversation click on that and then click on manage memories and inside there uh, it has these memories listed here so whenever you create a new memory it will actually save that memory here inside this panel so yeah these few changes are actually remarkable especially that cascade remembering the context of a certain thing and especially like storing a memory that's that's like amazing superb because if you're working on something complex and if you have like 
thousand features in a in a product so you can always create memory of each feature and so later on whenever you know you want to like recall that context you can recall that memory and then you can like chart in cascade of that particular feature that you are working on maybe like a month ago so cascade can actually recall that and then start like developing from there so this is this is really really amazing i, I believe that cursor might be working on something similar but this like this memories concept is, is really really amazing i am still i'm going to stick with cursor i just love cursor i mean i have tried using a windsurf windsurf has performed like really well in so many scenarios but uh my vote is still with cursor i will still stick with cursor and i really hope that cursor will make these kind of changings in future soon also like uh, i should be able to like scrape urls directly because right now to access documentations i have to like provide those documentations in the documentation section i cannot di directly provide a certain url so yeah i hope cursor will actually introduce something related to like cascade memories and directly scraping uh, urls so i hope you really like this video i will see you next video please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel our goal is to reach 100000 subscribers before 30th of june 2025 i see you next video bye bye